life this week. Uh, Caleb's gonna start us off today. Caleb, what happened this week? It's been another big week in Belladonna School District and it accumulates tonight when PA celebrates homecoming at Memorial Field. The event kicks off with the annual homecoming parade starting at five and it all builds up to the halftime to halftime of tonight's game against Williamsburg when the newest Bellwood Anna's homecoming queen will be crowned. The 2016 queen, Grace Vizera, will be on hand to crown the winner. This year's homecoming court consists of six exceptional seniors, Sydney Patterson, uh, Shayla Brandstetter, Alexis Gerwert, Cameron Mercer, Rachel Wirtz, and Allie Duman. On Wednesday, the court participated in the annual homecoming skit night and a packed Bell at Annis Middle School gymnasium. Blueprint was there to stream the event live on Facebook. You can go to our website and check it out on the YouTube channel um, for videos of each skit. Good luck tonight, ladies. Also this week, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes held its annual See You at the Pool prayer event on Wednesday morning. We accumulated 91 students and community members to join together for the event, which was directed by FCA President Tanner Worthing and Vice President Jack Showalter. On Tuesday, seven members of the Bellwood Anna's Junior High speech team earned places at the group's first meet of the season, which was held right here in VA. Sarah Berkowitz, who finished second in Persuasive, and the team of Caden Poe and Ethan Brown, who took second in Duo, were BA's top finishers. Congratulations, teams, and good luck throughout the rest of your season. For a list of all the finishers of Bellwood Anna's, check out our story on The Blueprint. The middle school announces Students of the Week on Thursday. Congratulations to Julius DeSosa, jo Jocelyn McGuire, Vincent Cus I can't say that, and Riley Andrews. <laughs> on Thursday, the ninth grade English students traveled to Myers Elementary for the first meeting of a year-long reading initiative. The freshman students have been partnered with second graders to participate in reading activities twice a marking period. The students are able to access grade-level books on their iPads through an app called Epic. And the ultimate goal of the project is to have the groups develop self-contained reading activities for all second grade students to use by using the app Nearpod. Good luck, students. In sports, the BA football team is going off a resounding 49-17 win over Moshana Valley heading into tonight's homecoming game. The Blue Devils are now 5-0 and in the driver's seat for the ICC championship and a high speed in the District 6-2A playoffs. Also this week, the Tyrone Bell and Anna's co-op tennis team won a pair of matches this week to improve to a record of 5-3 and three and earn a share of the Mountain League Championship. BA senior Tina Holland remains undefeated in singles and is now the front runner for the Mountain League MVP. It would be her third year in a row. Congratulations, Tina! The volleyball team won a pair of games this week to stay on its role and sophomore Sakira Harrelson was named the Blueprints Athlete of the Week, so go check it out. In soccer, the boys' co-op team won yesterday against Phillipsburg Osceola 3-0 with Blake Johnson netting a pair of goals. The team tied Penn Valley on Tuesday 1-1 in double overtime. On the girls' side, Riley D'Angelo had three goals Wednesday in a 6-4 win over P.O., uh, leaving the junior one goal short of the 50-goal mark for her career. Way to go, Riley. That's all we have for this week. If you want to know more information about what we reported today, be sure to check out the BA Blueprint. We update our stories almost every day. We'll see you next week. See ya!